Dan, do you want to start off? Sure. Well, uh, Bradley Default 2 has been taking a lot of my time, but we can't talk about that just yet. Um, you already yeah. did. Well, yeah, I'm allowed to talk. There's there's all kinds of rules and restrictions. But Keep that out, Alex. There is a preview. There's a preview at Game Informer you can check out if you want to know more about like what's changed from this installation to the others. But anyway, I've been playing a lot of that. But stuff I can talk about that I've been playing, Valheim is probably the one that most people are talking about out in the world today. Vikings, survival. Yeah. So this is like, like a that. crafting game. That's my understanding of it. <laughs> yeah, you know. I read a headline. <laughs> in a one-sentence shell, third-person Viking Terraria is... Not too far from reality. Obviously, it's not exactly correct, but if you want to understand it in a sentence, that's what it is. Uh, it's very easy to get into compared to some other survival games. PvP is not really a thing, so you don't have to worry about your, your base getting grief when you're away. You can play it with 10 friends. It's very cozy, very comfy. It operates on the rules of survival as a, you know, it's a bonus, not a penalty kind of system and structure, whereas you, you can't starve if you don't eat food, but if you do eat food, you're much better equipped to handle the elements and, and the creatures. Uh, you're not going to freeze to death at night if you're outside from your shelter, but you're going to get bonuses for resting if you do. So you don't have to worry about filling those meters up all the time, the hunger bars, the thirst bars, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Is that what you mean when you say it's like comfy or cozy? Because usually I don't think of survival games as comfy i usually think of them as somewhat stress inducing <laughs> like I, I like some of them but they do have that layer of like i gotta do this or i'm gonna die right depends how you play them right and depends who you play them with like like rust i can definitely understand that and rust it's constant tension right of what's going to happen with this encounter and, and that encounter and, and all that with this it's more like we're together we're in this together you start off i think uh the pacing of the game is is very uh welcoming the first area is like very very chill you can stay there forever if you wanted and just like farm boars and deer and hang out in the meadows it's very pastoral very peaceful uh they do get a little bit they get they get much more dangerous later uh but they give you time to work into that right so by the time you're fighting goblins and, and death mosquitoes those are deadly mosquitoes death mosquitoes uh, oh, now i'm by interested. the time you're, by the time you're fighting that stuff you're more prepared to handle it you've got a lot of tools at your disposal you've discovered a lot of things that help you uh, traverse the game from boats to portals. All right, all that fun stuff. Now this is one of those early access games, right? It is totally does, early access. Does PC it feel at the moment. pretty? You know, like pretty much like there's a whole game here already. No, there's half a game here already, and I think people are going to start hitting the content wall soon. At least the very aggressive players. I think a lot of people will take another month or two with it. Uh, but the really the ones that have been there since day one, pushing content with their crew, they're going to start hitting the the content wall. And they're going to be like, well, this was fun, but there's another year of development underway, and there's still like a bunch of content that isn't in the game yet. But the, what's there is fully playable, not that buggy, uh, usually works, and uh, and very enjoyable. Proceed, you know, it goes in a path. It, it's very structured, biome one, biome two, biome three. There's some cool sequence breaking and discovery among it, but that's the the general order of things: is zone one, zone two, zone three, hmm. so on. So where they come up with the names? Uh, I would guess Norse mythology. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, and hey, Norse, like, what a novel approach there. It's good to see somebody's <laughs> finally tackling, tackling Norse, right? Hey, now. Uh, Isn't it weird to think, yeah. like, I feel like just five years ago, that would have been kind of novel. Like, I don't think there were that many Viking games five years ago. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Like, in, in general, I think, I think companies love to tap into world building that's already done, right? This is not a jab at developers or anything. I'm not saying they're lazy. This is not that comment, okay, before I get attacked for that. Uh, I'm saying like, you know, those worlds are already built and developed and awesome. So if you've got a ground to start on and you can put your own spin on it, hell, why not? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I like Norse. And this is a, a unique enough gameplay tack, I, I think, that I guess I'm not faulting them for that. I am curious, Tack, you are, you are a connoisseur of all things Twitch. Why do you think this is taking off so much right now? Now, I knew somebody was going to ask that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't think it was going to was gonna be you, Alex, but <laughs> all right, so so you're not we, smart enough for those kinds of questions. <laughs> what, we, what we've been experiencing on Twitch, on the stream scene over the last year, even has been a rapid shift of games that are really good streaming games in their own right, but have been absolutely propelled to stardom by COVID, by the fact that everybody's inside and our social experiences for some, for many of us have been online, a hundred percent or very close to hundred percent online interactions. This definitely had something to do with Among Us taking off. Definitely had something to do with Fall Guys taking off. Both of those are great games, by the way. But 
becoming the phenomenons that they were. This is the thing. Now, Valheim, I think the fact that it doesn't focus on PvP and other elements that certain survival games lean into, and that it's easier to get into, the comfy aspect, if you will, has made that really powerful for its stream scene. It's, uh, you know, Rust recently experienced a resurgence there too. But that, you know, but here comes Valheim, the, the very, very, very small indie out of nowhere, right? Again, it takes the perfect storm. You know, new thing shows up on Steam. People are looking for a new game to, to play. I mean, I check the early access page every single day. And I go down there and I'm like, well, let's see. I like this, this, and this. I was there day one on Valheim. I was like, what is this? And then I summoned the Metal Deer God. And I was like, you know, this is pretty freaking sweet. All right, oh, I'm in. Dear God. So then I'm like, okay, my, I, to, my, to my friends, I'm like, okay, we're, we're, we're going to check this out. I'm going to go get a server. We're going to play. You're like, game. Dear God. Dear God. A Metal Deer God. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, uh, you're pretty. It seems like you're pretty hot on this. You've already written a bunch of stuff on the site, like some guides and stuff. Uh, you know, which people should check out. I am hot on it, and I, I put the caveat on there that yes, this is early access. Yes, there's only a certain amount of content, and I just can't wait for the the quips and and chirps from the from the peanut gallery when people stop playing it in a month or two, being like, "Dan, you said this game was cool. Everyone stop playing it." Well, it's not done. <laughs> only, only about half the content's there, so. We'll talk to me in a year when it comes out. We'll see what happens. They've got a lot of money now and a lot of attention. So hopefully that game can get a ton of polish and work done uh, on top of the roadmap they already have. Yeah, it seems like they're off to a good start. So that's exciting. Valheim. Valheim. It seems like it's pretty cheap, too. It's what, 20 bucks or something? Yeah, 20 bucks to get in. And I, yeah, 